Okay, so you probably remember my latest video uh, where I received a soil sample from Tokyo which was shown to be highly contaminated with cesium isotopes. Well, here's more of an insight where the soil sample was taken. Here you can see the layouts of the gutters of the drains in the streets of Tokyo. As I said, uh, the samples were taken about 250 kilometers away from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Now in the next image we can actually see a layover with dose rates as measured in these drains. You can see specific hotspots with higher dose rates versus areas of lower dose rates which are indicated in green here. Here is an example. You can see in the green area you got 0.428 microsievert per hour which is still a lot more than it should be normally. Normally it should be way below 0.3 microsieverts per hour. For Japan it's usually about 0.2 microsieverts per hour that should be considered normal. And in the other area you even have 0.64 microsieverts per hour. So that is a clear increase over normal background radiation, definitely. And here's a little insight on the collection of the soil samples itself. You can see the layered of the streets, of the gutter, of the drains, and there are plants growing nearby and all that stuff. Uh, all of these photos and graphs were provided by, uh, well, the guy who sent me the soil samples as well, so thanks to him for this. And meanwhile I actually had uh, one of the samples analyzed in a professional institution on a gamma spectrometer again, but uh, with a proper calibrated spectrometer, so we got actual real readings that will be uh, less than 5% of, of what is really inside, so they're pretty much accurate. So let's take a look. I was actually sent two samples, and by means of analyzing them with a Geiger counter, sample 1 showed an activity of 0.82 microsieverts per hour for beta and gamma, while sample 2 showed 0.69 microsieverts per hour beta and gamma. While in sample 2, in ratio, the beta activity is actually higher. So um, I sent a part of sample 2 to that professional institution and had a gamma spectroscopy performed for now, just gamma, and the readings are as follows. So, sample 2, which as of a Geiger Miller counter had 0.69 microsieverts per hour, shows an activity of 2900 bicaro per kilogram of soil of cesium-137 and 2500 bicaro per kilogram of soil of cesium-134. And these are readings from an official institution and can be trusted, both as of accuracy as well as of reliability. So now I have accurate readings as of the gamma spectroscopy and I'm currently trying to get a hold of an alpha and beta spectroscopy for this sample as well, uh, which is not as easy as it is actually uh, well quite expensive and time-consuming procedure to prepare the samples, but I'll try my best and keep you updated.